Morning guys, so like you, um, or rather like me, hopefully you've been frustrated about web form usability. Uh, you know, how most web applications just are very clunky to use or make it very difficult to do things. This frustrates the hell out of me. And um, I mentioned this before in other videos, or hopefully I haven't made a video about this, but like, you know, one particular thing is like, drop downs and things like that. I, I just hate them. The my, my favorite sort of paradigm for user u user interaction is like you know on, on iOS you, you swipe down and you have a search and then you just type you know a couple of characters of the app that you want and then all of a sudden the app appears with a whole bunch of other junk I didn't want to show you but iOS life. On Android I think um, there's the Google bar. I mean that's the paradigm right with the Google uh, bar you just type a few substrings and then you get pretty much what you're looking for. That in my opinion is a great user interface uh, paradigm or way of getting information. Unfortunately this is pretty broken <laughs> on the web. Um, I just wanted to big up Luke Smith's uh, YouTube channel. I guess some people who watch my channel watch Luke Smith's, but he did a pretty good video on D-Menu, which basically implements this um, this data list concept, right? So this is D-Menu running on the top here. If I go, if I go Alt P, and I use X11 Capture to 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 start off the cap the screen capture. Uh, and then I press enter to, and if I press enter now, it would kill it. So I'm not going to kill it. I press escape. Um, but the the idea here is that just with a couple of, it's extremely fast, unlike uh, iOS Spotlight, and it gets to the command I'm, I want to run. But it's not limited to commands, as 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 Luke points out. I did want to correct Luke that you can. Um, hmm, let me quickly show you. You can override D menu by just using switches. You don't have to recompile it, as I'm doing here. Okay, back to the web, guys, which 99.9% .9 of the population will end up using. There is this thing called the, the data list element. I've got an example at dl.workconverger.com, part of the HTML spec. And here's a story for you. I actually contributed to the spec many years ago on, on, the, on the topic of like web forms too. But sadly, um, 15 years later or something, the way that browsers implement a lot of uh, web form proposals to prove them is, is shockingly bad in my opinion. And data list is, is just like one of them. For example, I chucked in, I'm, I'm using the data list element here on, on Chrome 65, and let's and the idea is the same, right? If you if I go X11 capture, it should be for actually it's being a little bit faster than usual. Usually, it almost brings my machine to a halt. So, I'm just come up with an example listing the binaries on my system. So, that's kind of working, but I think on mobile you find it won't work at all. Let's try that. Safari. As you can see on, I mean, this is where I think it would even just be so more kick-ass if it was, if it was on uh, on on mobile. Actually, let me see. Let me see if it's on Android. All right, managed to fetch my mother-in-law's uh, and old Android phone, and it does actually kind of work there, but unfortunately not on iOS. Damn. Um, anyway, so uh, hopefully this video introduces some of you to D-Menu. Check out, I'll link Luke's uh, tutorial video in the bottom there. And otherwise, I highly recommend you s consider using the data list thing instead of a drop down sort of option thing, which is awful to use. And um, it seems to me that that iOS is the culprit of Safari not, um, <laughs> for, for, culprit for not implementing it properly. So 
Um, I'll, I'll include a, a link in the description of perhaps how to hassle uh, Safari to implement this thing. Because, uh, yeah, what, once, uh, once the data list is properly implemented and it's fast, then I think uh, we might see a usability improvement here. If I'm wrong, please let me know. Sorry about my kid. <laughs> Say bye guys, the hump. Ow.